Hi everybody, welcome back to Bloom Zoom. I'm Susie and today we're gonna to be making our own homemade succulent terrariums. This is easy to do at home and I'll give you the instructions so you can pick up your own materials and you can make your own terrarium. So the first thing we wanna start with is a clear glass vase. It should be at least a six inch opening so that the plant can breathe once we plant it. The next thing we'll need is a miniature succulent plant. You can pick one of these up by your local greenhouses or nurseries. We have a bag of sedimentary rock. The rocks are about a half inch in width and they're gonna be our base level. We then have our soil. You can pick up any kind of soil, but I prefer to use potting soil because it dries out faster. We have a bag of sand. That's gonna be a layer that will also collect the water that we, when we put it in. And we have something that you might see in an aquarium. These are colored fish rocks. You can use any color you would like, but it's always nice to, for it to have some sort of color because it will make your plant pop. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a layer and we're just gonna gradually dump these in. These are pretty mixed color. They're very earthy looking and they're about a half inch. The purpose of these rocks is that it's gonna create some drainage for the plant since your container doesn't have any holes in it. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some dirt and we're gonna make our first layer for our plant. I'm just gonna put the dirt right in there. Don't worry about getting your hands messy. The most fun gardening projects always have a little bit mess to them. Once they're about, it's about an inch, a little bit less than an inch and a half, you're gonna loosely pack it. So you don't wanna pack it down tight. And with your finger, you're gonna create a little hole that is the width of the plant. So as you can see right here, it was just a spinning little circle and our plant is gonna pop right in there. This is a succulent plant. And you might know that all cacti are, are succulents, but not all succulents are cacti. And how we know that this is a succulent is that its leaves have contained water. So they're often puffy. These little guys often grow in lower grounds while the bigger succulents grow in higher grounds. They originated in Africa and then made their way around the world to us. They prefer dried soil. So we're just gonna place it right on top of there. You might feel that your plant soil in the pot has sand to it. That's wonderful because that's gonna catch a lot of the water. Next, we're gonna make our second layer with the soil. And we're gonna put it right around the plant. We're gonna make sure that we don't wanna compact it too much. Like this. These are very pretty plants. They are delicate. They're also often used in wedding work. You can see them in wedding bouquets. You can even see them as hair pieces, which are very beautiful. So now that you see this, we have another layer. At this point, you have about two and a half to three inches of soil, which is a healthy layer for the plant. Next, we're gonna add the sand. And as I said, these originate in Africa. They like dry, arid soil. So we're gonna add a little sand to make that environment for the plant. And we're gonna pour it right in here. This succulent happens to be a variety that is very short, but you will also see succulents that are taller. Some have more leaves. They come in all shades of the rainbow, which is very pretty. And there are over 150 varieties of succulents available now. They've also become a very popular do-it-yourself project. And they are very easy to care for. So right now you see that I have a layer right here and you can see the defined layers. We have the rocks down here, the soil here, and the sand up here. Just gonna create some nice drainage. We're gonna next take this, which are our fish rocks, and we're gonna make a nice thin layer. Now these are gonna be heavier than the other layers that we have, so we don't wanna put it too, mu too much of it in because you don't wanna overpower the plant. Just nice and light. This particular plant is a pretty lime green. So these blue rocks really make the color stand out. In the summer, you might see succulents are lighter in color, but in the fall, like many foliage do, these tend to get pink on the edges, like this. I'm just gonna add one more little bit, just like this. So again, we've created a nice, fun color level to our terrarium. 
This is optional, but this is a lot of fun. We have these glass rocks that we can put in there. You can pick these up in any craft store. They're relatively inexpensive. And just if this is a gift, you might want to add a little bling. It shows a little color and it reflects a lot of the light. And that's a lot of fun. Now, I know you're wondering, we're doing a succulent and it's very dry. It does not like a lot of water, but it does need to be watered at some point. So once every two weeks, you're going to lightly drizzle the plant with water. Careful not to get it on the succulent. You'll know that you've watered it enough once you see the water trickle down the side. Once it's trickled down the side like that, it's enough water. You do not want to overwater these plants because again, they live in the desert. If you think that you have maybe a, a purple thumb, not of the green thumb at all, you're gonna love this plant because you can plant it and leave it alone. It needs very little care. It would like a nice sunny place near a window that doesn't get too cold, maybe by a nice heater. And if you leave it alone, your plant will do great. In the spring, you can repot this to go outside on your deck. I hope you enjoy. Have a great time with your do-it-yourself terrarium with succulents. And if you have any questions, please visit us at the Westwood Public Library where we have lots of succulent books to choose from. Thank you, it was fun being with you.